Now, let us derive an expression for the magnetic field due to a finite long conductor carrying current. Suppose we have a conductor or a wire, let's say AB, carrying a current I. Suppose we want to find the magnetic field due to this conductor at a point P. Let this point P be at a distance of, let's say, a distance of A units from the conductor. That, that is, this length, this is perpendicular. Let's call this point A, B, C. And let us consider a small segment on the wire, let's say, D, L. This, this is a small segment of the wire, the finite wire AB, DL, DL. And let the distance from the center of this section DL to the point P, let's say this distance be some R. Let this distance be R. And let this angle be theta and let this angle be, let's call some phi. Clear. I'll mark the section D L with the red color so that it is very visible. D L. Let I be the current carrying, I be the current this conductor carries. Now, when you apply the Biot-Savart law, applying biot savart law we know the magnetic field at the point p let's say magnetic field field at p since this magnetic field is produced by this small section dl we can call that as db small magnetic field db by the equation it is equal to mu 0 by 4 pi the value of the current i the section dl sin theta sin theta means the angle made by the dl and the distance vector that is let's call this point let's say some d that is the angle between dc and dp that is theta divided by the distance of the uh, distance dp square that is r square this is by our savart law the angle should the angle is dc the angle between dc and dp and the distance this r square will be the distance from the center of this section to the point p clear now let's call this as equation number one when you consider the triangle CDP, you know theta plus phi will be 90 degree. No doubt, because you, 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 when you add all the angles of this triangle, this angle is 90, 90 plus phi plus theta will be 180, sum of the angles of the triangle. So that phi plus theta will be 180 minus 90 that is equal to 90. I, I wrote it here. Let, let me erase this. Therefore, theta plus phi equal to 90 that is theta is equal to 90 minus phi. So, when you take sign on both sides, you know sin theta equal to sin when you take sin on the left side you have to take sin on the right side also sin 90 minus 5 so that sin theta will be sin 90 minus 5 will be cos 5 clear now you can replace this sin theta using cos 5 therefore db is equal to you can write this as mu 0 by 4 pi i dl 
instead of sin theta you can write cos phi by r square clear let's call this as equation number two let me erase this now when you take let, let's call this length that is this length b l this length is equal to l that is c d equal to l when you consider the triangle b c this is the triangle this is 90 this is p this is c and this is d we know this length is equal to l this angle is phi and this is r also this length is a when you take uh, tan phi tan phi you know tan phi is equal to opposite by adjacent that is l by a that is you can write l is equal to a tan phi when you derive this equation using d phi that is dl divided by d phi derivative of length with respect to angle phi you have to take the derivative on the right side also d by d phi of a tan phi clear implies dl by d phi is equal to this a can be taken out and derivative of tan phi is equal to six square phi implies dl is equal to a six square phi d phi let's call this as equation number three also let me raise this Also, when you take the value of cos phi, you know cos phi will be adjacent divided by hypotenuse, that is A by R. Implies, you can write R equal to A by cos phi, implies R is equal to, if you take cos to the numerator, you will have 1 by cos phi equal to C phi. Clear. Let's call this as equation number 4. Now, if you substitute, if you substitute the equation 3 and equation 4 in this equation 2, you will get db is equal to, what I am doing is I am substituting this equation 4 and 3 in equation 2. You can write db as mu 0 by 4 pi i instead of dl you can write a 6 square phi d phi into cos phi divided by r square means a c phi whole square clear let me simplify this Therefore, db will be mu 0 divided by 4 pi i a 6 square phi into cos phi. I will write this d phi here, d phi divided by a square 6 square phi. Clear, squaring the denominator. So, you can cancel the 6 square phi and 6 square phi. One of the A will get cancelled. So, the final answer will be, the final form will be, DB is equal to mu 0 divided by 4 pi, mu 0 I divided by 4 pi A, 4 pi a cos phi 
cos phi d phi. Let's call this as equation number 5. Clear. So, this is the final form. Now, remember this db is the magnetic field produced by this small section dl at the point p. Now, I want to find the magnetic field produced by this whole conductor of length AB. So, for that, let me join these two lines that is BP and AP. When you look at the equation number 5, the variable is 5, the angle. So, the angle varies from, we have to take this whole angle that is APB, but we can't take this as a single angle because if you consider CP as the x-axis, you, you have to split the angle. That is, let me take this angle, sorry, let me take this angle as phi 1 and this angle as phi 2 phi 2 this angle that is angle c p b is equal to phi 2 and angle c p a is equal to phi 1 see there is a there, you have to carefully consider a, a condition in here see this is this is c p and let me draw this See, I just drawn this CP here and this, let's say, this, this be A and this be B. Remember, this is, this rep CP represents the x-axis. See, you have to take always, you have to take the angle from the x-axis always. So, I just took this angle, see. This is this angle is from the x axis and it is in the uh, clockwise direction. So you have to take that as positive. Let's say phi 1 is positive. Now again, you have to take the angle from the x axis itself. This time, this is in the anti clockwise direction. So you have to put a minus sign phi 2. Or if you take the clockwise angle as positive, negative, you have to take the uh, anti clockwise angle as positive. You have to take relatively this angle. One, if one is positive, other will be negative. So you have to consider this very carefully. Otherwise, you will get the wrong answer. So in order to, so the total magnetic field, let's say B, what you have to do is, since the variable here is phi, you have to integrate it from minus phi two to phi one. Remember, you can you only you can only split the angles and take the integral you can take this angle apb as a whole angle clear so mu 0 i divided by 4 pi a cos phi d phi so this mu 0 i by 4 pi a is constant so b is equal to mu 0 i divided by 4 pi a <coughs> Integral minus phi 2 to phi 1 cos phi d phi. Now, what you will get when you integrate cos phi? Integral of cos phi is sin phi. So, mu 0 i by 4 pi a. Integral of cos phi is sin phi. And the limit of integral is minus phi 2. The lower limit is minus phi 2. The upper limit is phi 1. Now you have to substitute the limits. That is B is equal to mu 0 i by 4 pi a. First substitute the upper limit sine phi 1 then minus sin, the lower limit is minus phi 2, minus phi 2, b is equal to, since sin is a function, sin of minus 
theta is equal to minus sin theta. So this is equal to sin phi 1 minus and my, my, this is equal to minus sin of minus the, sin the, sin of minus theta is equal to minus sin theta. So minus sin phi 2. This minus and minus will get cancelled. So it will become plus. So b equal to mu 0 i divided by 4 phi a sin phi 1 plus sin phi 2. Clear. So this is the magnetic field produced by a uh, fine, produced by a wire of finite or a conductor of finite length at a point P, which is a distance, which is at a distance of a units from the conductor. Clear. Now what if what if the conductor is of infinite length? Suppose the conductor is of infinite length like this. That is, this A and B extends to uh, up and down infinitely. Clearly, this phi 1 will increase. This phi 1 will become like this. That is, phi 1 will go on increasing. Now, if it is infinite, clearly this phi 1 will be 90 clear see infinite means you can draw draw this line and meet it here on the conductor it will be like this parallel to this conductor that is the extreme case of phi 1 also phi 2 will also be 90 degree when a b is of in con when the wire is of infinite length infinite length clear so that will be a special case of this equation b equal to mu 0 i by 4 pi a sin phi 1 plus sin phi 2 now if you substitute the values of phi 1 and phi 2 in this equation you will get b is equal to mu 0 i divided by 4 pi a sin phi 1 is sin 90 again sin phi 2 is also sin 90 so this is equal to mu 0 i by 4 pi a sin 90 is 1 plus 1 is equal to mu 0 i by 4 pi a into 2 we can cancel this 2 and 4 so the equation will become Let me write B infinity. B infinity represents the magnetic field of this infinite long conductor at the point P. It will be mu 0 i divided by 2 pi a. Clear. Okay.